Next up on this week's episode of Scandalous People is Aisha Curry. This is the wife of NBA champion Steph Curry. And she is up for coming out this week and showing her beautiful bathing suit pictures. Now, she did look very good in the bathing suits. However, this was a surprise to many of us because in the past, the way she has spoken about women who show a lot of skin. She made the comments that have been posted and pulled back up again because the internet never forgets that you stated that it wasn't your style to show a lot of skin, that you prefer to show it to the one who really matters, your husband. And most men love that. They would agree. Okay. And a lot of women as well. And then you went on to call the women, Aisha Curry, husbandless whores. Okay. So this has always been your attitude, you know, throughout your entire married life until recently. Okay. You've done a 180 degree turnaround. Why is that? Okay. In my personal opinion, I'm alleging that, you know, there's more to it than just, a, you know, going through a circle of life, a phase. Okay. I noticed two things that you said on your um, conversation with Jada on the Red Table Talk, Aisha Curry. I noticed that you said, number one, you looked at the type of women who were throwing themselves shamelessly at your husband and you thought to yourself, wow, I'd better get something going for myself. And so you started your businesses and everything. And it's been very successful, which is great. But you said you looked at the women who were throwing themselves at your husband and thought you better get something going. I submit, I'm going to allege that it wasn't really the women who were throwing themselves at you that made you think, wow, I'd better get something going. I believe that it was the way your husband looked at the women who were throwing themselves at him that made you think, wow, I'd better get something going for myself, okay? I think it was the way he looked at them that kind of shook you up, Aisha, okay? And number two, what you also said was that you wanted to be looked at and desired by men. Whereas initially, your position had always been you only wanted one man to desire you, which is a good thing, which he would enjoy. But now you want all these other men to enjoy you and what you look like and desire you and give you compliments and notice you, okay? So why the complete 180 degree, Aisha Curry? My position is this. Okay, there's only one reason. Well, there's a, a couple of reasons why a married woman would all of a sudden, who considered people who showed their skin husbandless whores, now want to join them. Join the husbandless whores, showing her body. A couple of reasons, a few reasons. Um, I feel that, number one, um, you were saying the things you said, that you were talking to an audience of one, your husband, Stephen Curry. So for a married woman to make a complete 180 degree from I only want my man to see me, you husbandless whores, to, uh, you know, you want to be seen and desired. And it's about time you put in there when you head on the bikini showing everything from the front anyway. It was very modest looking, I'll say. And you look great. Nobody's not saying that. But, um, you know, there's only one reason why, Aisha, you would change your mind to that degree. Number one. And I don't know you, Aisha, so let me just say this. It's only a reason why a married woman would do a 180 like that. Number one, she is no longer getting enough attention from her husband. Okay? And she is no longer um, getting her needs met from her husband. She thinks also that he may be looking somewhere else giving that attention somewhere else. So she would want to do this now to either get his attention back or to advertise for her next husband. <laughs> it's all good over here. So you're advertising. Either you're trying to advertise to him or you're trying to advertise to your new prospects because his attention is not the same. And you think in the back of your mind that it might be going somewhere else. So I think that's the reason for the complete 180, Aisha. And there are those who say that um, you didn't feel like you were sexy enough, um, you know, to show skin. And now that you are, you wanting to. I think, you know, there's a little bit of truth in that. But I think for the most part, you were somebody who always thought it was just for him. Now all of a sudden it's for everybody. There's a reason why a complete 180 was done, Aisha. What it is, girl. What it is. Okay. And so next up on my list of this week's episode of Scandalous People is our very own Superhead's alleged baby daddy, Mr. Everett Taylor. Who is Everett Taylor? And why is he on our list? Everett Taylor 
is a marketing executive, a public speaker, founder of a marketing firm, and social media software company. He founded this. Very accomplished, okay? Um, the reason why he's on this list is because of this DM that I got, okay, on a video that I did for him two months ago and his suicide letter that he posted. It wasn't a note. It wasn't even a... Um, wasn't even a post. It was a letter. And I read it out on my channel two months ago. I speculated as to why I think he really did it um, and uh, why it was posted. But he's back on my list again two months later for this DM that someone allegedly from his office sent to me. And I'm going to post those receipts for you. Let's read along. It says, Miss Singleton, I'm writing this message on behalf of Everett Taylor, whom a couple of months ago you published a video about. I wanted to inquire, with an I, not an E, I wanted to inquire about the possibility of removing the video due to the libelous statement made by Miss Stephan that's included in your video. Okay, number one, libelous means a false statement damaging your reputation. I didn't put any of Corinne Stephan's statements in that video except the fact that she said that you were her baby daddy. Okay, number one, it might be a false statement, I don't know, but it was a direct quote from an interview that's still up on the original site, okay? And damaging your reputation. Since when is being a father a damage to your reputation? How is that damaging you, okay? Um, and if you got the false blame, <laughs> how is that damaging you? <laughs> you got to prove to me how I damaged you, okay? But you didn't even say that I made a libelous statement, which I didn't, okay? I didn't say anything except that she said you was her baby daddy and the article is still up, okay? Um, then also, let's see what else you got going on here. It says, uh, uh, other publications such as Bossip, Onsite TV, Madame Noir, Popular Superstars, Gossip Girl XOXO, and others have taken down um, their videos this week through our legal team, Okay. So you, why are you bringing up your legal team to me? Am I supposed to be scared now? Is this an act of intimidation? No, I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Hoping that we can get the video taken down without having to involve legal. Oh, you could involve legal. I'm shaking in my boots. Okay. The false statements made have been detrimental not only for Mr. Taylor's career, but his mental health as well. Which false statement? That you were going to be a pappy? You ain't the peppy? That'll be, um, that'll be brought out in time. So be careful now. <laughs> I might have to see you <laughs> if it turn out to be true. <laughs> okay. So, um, it's detrimental to his career and his mental health. How? How? Did you lose money behind it? Okay. I, I don't know how. Okay. But that's your personal business now. You ain't got to tell me. I'm just asking. Okay. Then it says, hoping to keep this matter discreet. Look forward to hearing back. Hope you're staying safe. Okay. So in the middle of a pandemic, you worrying about my article. Okay. This is from Julia. It says of ET Enterprises. To be clear. I thought the letter was over, Julia, but it's not. To be clear. We would like the YouTube video and all associated videos on your Instagram to be removed. To be removed. <laughs> okay. So I answered back to her. Are you seriously contacting a tiny blogger with less than 300 subscribers on Instagram and on YouTube? Okay. <laughs> uh, you're asking me about a YouTube video that's only gotten 49 vid views on YouTube and about 650 on Instagram. Are you seriously contacting me about this? My response, my first thought was a hit dog will holler. Okay. I said, I'll take the video down, which I did, because it's an old news video. It's old news. That was two months ago. Nobody even cares about it. But you, but you, okay. And then I said, nobody really saw it anyway. But thanks for the next video topic I'm going to do about it. And here it is. I posted it for you, you know, so you could see. Um, I looked up, you know, his site to see if this was really from him. Um, the, the logos seem to match, you know. Um, this person may not work for him, you know, and this may not have been him. However, he got him back on my channel again. <laughs> and I didn't make a single libelous statement. All I did was share my messages with you, Everett. You're going to get legal involved? 
Your legal team don't have nothing else to do. <laughs> what you going to do? What you going to get from me? I'll just, if you take my channel down, I'll make another channel. I'll make another channel. And I'm going to keep going, you know. You wasting the, those attorneys' time. How much they bill per hour? You worrying about me and I barely got any uh, subscribers. <laughs> You ain't got nothing else to do with your money. What you gonna get from me? My mattress and my box spring. Come on, I need a new mattress and a new box spring. What, what you gonna sue me? You gonna sue me? What you gonna get? <laughs> Have a good time with it. Everett, you need to go to my YouTube channel and my uh, Instagram and subscribe. You need to go to my online shopping store, my passionate bliss at my shopify.com and subscribe and buy a t shirt for you, for Superhead. And I'm going to make a children's edition as well. And same for Aisha Curry. Girl, you look very sexy in my shirts now. Aisha Curry, you will look very sexy in my shirts. So please go to my online store, my passionate bliss dot my Shopify dot com, Aisha. I got them in tank tops, Aisha. I got the belly out, Aisha. I want you to go and buy one of my t-shirts. Girl, you will look so sexy in my shirt. Okay? Get one for Steph, too. And if you're going to have a new man, get one for him, too. <laughs> Y'all be safe out there. Y'all be sweet. Y'all have sweet dreams. And wait to find them all real. Till next time.